All right, football fans, you know what time it is. Time to break down the top five NFL defenses with our defensive rankings after week one. These units aren't just stopping offenses. They're straight up ruining days. Let's jump in with number five. And trust me, it's going to be a crazy ride. At number five, it's the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, they might not be the same stone wall as last year, but hold your horses. These guys still held Lamar Jackson to a measly 65 and a half quarterback rating. And Derrick Henry, he was running through quicksand, which is three and a half yards per carry. Plus, the Ravens went one for four in the red zone. If you can do that against Baltimore, you're doing something right. Chiefs Kingdom, your D's still dangerous. Now, rolling on in number four, we've got the Pittsburgh Steelers. TJ Watt is basically a one-man wrecking crew. Sure, he only had one sack in week one, but it's all about the chaos he causes. Pittsburgh's D, they held Kirk Cousins under 160 passing yards on 26 attempts and two takeaways to boot. Steelers fans, your fantasy football major points and headaches to opposing QBs. Coming in and hot at number three, it's the New York Jets. I know, I know, Hassan Reddick's holdout stings, but the defense is still locked and loaded. Bryce Huff is out, but Robert Solis' defense is no joke. Best secondary in the NFL? Check. Defensive masterman calling the shots? Double check. The Jets are sitting pretty, but let's be real. Facing the most talent-rich offenses in football could make things interesting. At number two, it's the Cleveland Browns. Look, you can't blame Miles Garrett and this defense for that week one loss. I mean, Denzel Ward was out there swatting passes like he's playing volleyball, and Zadarius Smith even snagged a sack. The Browns' D kept the Cowboys out of the end zone after Ezekiel Elliott's early score, but here's the problem. When your offense keeps making you bail them out, it gets exhausting. Cleveland's D is elite, but let's hope they don't get tired of carrying this team by December. And at number one, the best defense in the league, drum roll, it's the Dallas Cowboys. Forget what you knew about this D, Mike Zimmer's taking it to another level. The Cowboys held Cleveland to just 3.3 yards per play and gave up a laughable 13.3% on third down conversions. I mean, come on, Micah Parsons and Demarcus Lawrence leading the charge. These guys are feasting on offenses. And next up, Derek Carr and the Saints bad O-line meet the NFL's hungriest defense. All right, there you have it, folks. The top defenses in the NFL after a chaotic week one, the Chiefs, Steelers, Jets, Browns, and Cowboys. These teams aren't just stopping offenses. They're destroying game plans. Check out all 32 team rankings on sportsnot.com. We'll see you after week two.